Okay, I mean, we've got this test. Okay, what might test it? And again, I mean, if you can't test it, you're not in the realm of science. I mean, if there's no no observations that might might disconfirm it, you've got a problem. So, what might test it? Well, a colleague of mine, Michael Behe, wrote a book back in 1996 uh, called Darwin's Black Box, in which he was looking at systems like this. And uh, what he, he found was he looked at the, um, actually inside the cell, he's a biochemist by training, and so he was looking at what he found were molecular machines inside the cells. And it's just marvelous the sorts of things that happen inside the cell. You've got self-replicating robotic manufacturing plants, information processing, storage and retrieval, signal transduction circuitry, high efficiency, high tech nano engineered motors. Uh, oh, I just, just uh, this guy went, got ahead of myself. Uh, transportation and distribution systems, uh, automated parcel addressing, UPS labels, zip codes. I mean, things have to be delivered from one place in the cell to another. Uh, we've got all this going on inside the cell, complex monitoring and feedback control. You know, all of this in the cell and molecular biology. Now, I want you to watch a little video, which as it were, this is, this is state of the art uh, computer animation of what's inside the cell. And uh, so just watch and enjoy. This is the story of a white blood cell that finds an infection and goes through the wall of the artery in order to stop that infection. What we see now is called lipid rat. It's made up of special fossil lipids that pack tightly together and hold together the memory proteins that are specifically linked to that lipid rat. These lipid rats move around in a limited positive bilayer and uh, coordinate activity. Now we are zooming down from the microbial and inside of one of those microbial protrusions. What we see now is the polarization of the actin from the active monomers, and actin forms the cytosols of the network. This is the gel solvent. It cuts off a part of the actin film. Now we see microbial and this is called catastrophe when the microtubules uh, move back. This is kinesin walking along the microtubule and pulling behind it a vesicle. Along this uh, picture, you can see a lot of microtubules, all with vesicles being pulled by various other proteins. And in the center is the centrosome with its centrioles. This is the cell surface of the nucleus surface of the nuclear force, and the mRNA is coming out of the nucleus. And now it's assembling through a splice zone that allows the mRNA to process before the uh, ribosome, which is shown there, begins to read the mRNA and create the protein. This is another ribosome assembling onto the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum of the Golgi body. And in this case, it's producing a protein that will be secreted, uh, it's contained inside the vesicle, inside of that memory cook and pulled to the outside of the cell by such a motor such as kinesin, which is shown here. These are vessels that are being dragged from the Golgi body, which is shown right here, to the outside of the cell, and we're going to watch them be secreted into the space between the membrane and the extracellular matrix, which is above. Uh, these proteins are secreted, but they don't leave the membrane because they're bound to the membrane. And these are the proteins. Uh, the eye can that can reach uh, and, uh, and bind tightly to the receptor molecules on the cell that is signaling a problem somewhere behind the cell. Once the eye can binds, it uh, allows the white blood cell to go through a combination change where the active uh, matrix dissolves and it allows it to slither into the region where it needs to eat up the bacteria or the infection. So this is what needs to be explained. The question is whether conventional evolutionary mechanisms can do it, or whether uh, design would be an appropriate mode of explanation uh, to supplement conventional evolutionary explanations. Uh, so let's let's look at one system in particular. Uh, this is one that.